Hello everyone, Kitchen Runner for Kitchen Runner Games, and I am back today with an ep another episode of American Dad. As you can see, we got a visitor right out front of our house here. We got the Statue of Liberty, and that means it is time for the event. As we discussed, as we predicted, the event is here. It's called the Path to Liberty, and it is one of the 10-day events where we have three different paths to go. I believe we had one of these in the Valentine's time frame earlier, and it is similar to what we've seen before in all of the other games that I cover here. Excuse me. So we will dive in today and cover that uh, event, cover my progress, talk about the items that we can get, and talk about the plan for this event and where I'm going to go and how I'm going to do with it. So as you can see, uh, there was an update. I don't think I talked about this last time. Now when you have premium up here in the corner, you can see yourself being a little bit uh, highlighted. So as you can see, I'm gold. I went ahead and bought premium with the... Uh, I forgot his name, Rogu, whoever his name is here, right out front when we had the deal. So the 199 for 15 days or whatever it was, really good deal. Definitely worth taking every time that pops up. So we got 10 days left on that, which works out pretty well for this 10 day event. And what also works out pretty well is there's a Hustle Castle event going on, very similar. It's another way of path of type event, the exact same thing, where you basically grind for three days and get as much as you can. And that is wrapping up today. So I do not have to grind multiple events, which would be helpful. So let's just go ahead and dive in and see what this is. So we have torches. Our whole goal for today is to get torches. As you can see, we have the top people with an obscene amount of torches on day one after a couple hours. Happens every time. That is why I think I said it in this video. There's no reason that you should try for first because you're not going to get it because these people do it every time. They spend money. They save up previous chests. They do all kinds of stuff and they get it going for that top item. No regular player is going to get that one, so um, that's why I say don't expect to get it. But uh, I believe, unless there's another Romania tr um, tribe, a clan, Dry is in my clan. So maybe if you're listening, Dry, you can fill me in on how you got to 353,000 torches. Did you buy? Did you have a million chests saved up? Or how did you get there? That is a ridiculous number. Um, and are you going to go for first? Because I think it's going to be a continuous effort all the way or save them up to the end and blast past at the end. So anyway, um, that won't be me. As a matter of fact, I will not be finishing this event. Let me get a little background on that. I've mentioned this before on other videos. Our other event, this is a path to or the way of event, whatever. It's it's existed multiple times in Zero City, many, many times in Hustle Castle, which like I said, we're wrapping up one right now. And I think this is the second time in, in American Dad. And it's not one of my favorite type of events is because I've made the comment before that's just not possible for uh, you know, SR ten or eleven in the other game I'm in to get all the way to the end with you know by grinding it's just too much to do, which I stand corrected. People did tell me I was wrong on that, so it is possible that they have done that before, so it is possible. And the grinding that I just did in Hustle Castle, I was going to try to do it and grind my way all the way to the top. And if I stuck with my original early pace, I could have done it. But I kinda I don't play as much on the weekends and I kinda lost lost my um, progress a little bit and I wasn't able to catch up. So I'm not gonna make it without buying, which I probably will just to finish it this time, but I'm not gonna do it again. It was it was heavy duty grinding a lot, you know, trying to trying to work and grind at the same time. It's just not not a productive way to go and it just for me it's not enjoyable either that's just too much too much playing of one game and i like to spread it out and focus on other things throughout so for me that's not going to be the way i'm going to play nothing against anybody else doing it but that's just not going to be for me i will get burnt out on whatever game i'm playing if it has to be that way so for me i will not be getting all three paths here plenty of people do and fantastic for you you know let me know in the comments if you, I, I can't imagine anybody's done already unless you're paying your way through it but um the goal today is i haven't looked at any of this stuff yet other than you, know, you can see i have four thousand torches here i got a couple more to collect and i'll tell you how i did that and how i got into where i've gotten and uh we're gonna look at the items because i don't remember we talked about these before but we're gonna look at the items to see which path i'm gonna go up so let's just go ahead and do that right now a lot of these lower level ones are just gonna be you know whatever these are good of course but nothing nothing special so they'll be good for leveling up the the house and grinding the railway station on the weekends but that's the wrong game the uh the arena um 100 golden turds all these are good for sure blue stickers it's good but i'm not putting blues on i'm only putting purples and oranges on trying to trying to stick with only oranges but i'm not grinding this game enough to get enough coins to be able to and doing enough shopping moles to get enough uh glitter here to level up all my chips to uh, or stickers sorry to orange 
but these purples here so i might start might start putting the purples on i haven't done that yet but i might start doing that and here we go so now we start getting the good stuff we got a legendary ring armor and weapon none of them are arena level ones so it's not the top top level a legendary items but they're still legendary items and now that i have a level 100 fighter all of these are going to be coming in between level 98 and 100 so they'll be usable once they get more people up top and um as you may or may not recall i only have one fighter right now at level 100 i have two more at level 91 i believe so many many days away from getting more hundreds all right the shards here so we got 15 so that's enough to craft one and a half legendaries and here we go we're already at the top I assume this will come later on in this game, but at the, the recent uh, Hustle Castle version, they have here where you have your armor, and then a couple levels above, like up to here, you have weapons to buy, and then you keep going up, and then you get the stickers, the legendary stickers up top. So um, I assume that will come here eventually because Hustle Castle used to be this way with only one level of top items, but now, you know, there's two levels. Um, but here, you know, once you complete all three paths, then you can go for this legendary artifact. We'll take a look at that again in a moment. Like I said, I'm not going to do it. And then if you're still grinding and have <laughs> have even more torches, two guaranteed legendary items up there. Plus you go over here, you get three legendary items. You go here, you get three legendary items. I mean, this is a lot. So you need to get, what, 36, 54, 66, 66,000 torches extra you can get an extra 11 legendary items which is fantastic that's just a lot plus if you get another 150,000 you can get all of these orange stickers so these people here obviously have enough to get them all but most regulars I don't think are going to be doing that so um, maybe let me know in the comments if you have and if you do and how you, how you got that or how you're planning on getting that I guess more than likely unless you're one of these top people here you're not you're not there yet so all right let's go ahead and look at these uh, premium items this is where this is where we're gonna have to make the decision of where we're gonna go and where we're gonna focus because these are really the, the main things here and as a just to remember here's level 90 to 100 these things probably are not gonna be usable right away because I only have one level 100 person I got some other 90 to 100 gear from the previous event that we'll use when we get more people up there so here we go we got the warrior here we got once in a while after a clone deals 25,000 damage cast an assist symbol on an ally who dealt the highest damage to increase their damage by 250,000 that could be highly useful for me because i got my uh what's he called the uh the rapid fire um drawing a blank on the name all of a sudden but he does obscene amounts of damage so if i can get him to deal 250,000, increase their next attack increase their damage by for the next three attacks it's only three attacks but still and he is by far the biggest damage dealer on my squad so that could be useful um the one thing i don't like about this you know my tank up front living long and healing themselves because I'm using that for the shopping mall and uh well mainly for the shopping mall and the more heal self heal i have the longer they last and that does not exist here so this would probably not be my primary person that i'm going to be using my primary roger sorry so very nice but eh, i'm not sure that's what i want all right here we go we have a gunslinger we already have a gunslinger outfit so this spy isn't going to be it but let's see once in a while after a clone deals 90,000 damage places a justice symbol on a target inflicting 30,000 physical damage over 3.2 seconds plus let's see that let's see the 6500 to 6800 versus what we're currently running and the name of the weapon is the sauce minigun right right and here's the sauce 65 to 68 so it's the same damage this one is increases the damage of all gunslingers i forgot about that so that's really good um yeah so we probably won't be replacing that one so this does seem good but it's not like tons better than what, what we already have and you know once i get two more people up certainly the first one is going to be a, a tank up front and I don't know what the third one. So I'm gonna have three level 100s, and then I'll have three lower level people. That's my that's my plan to go for a while. I'm gonna stop leveling and run run that for a while. It's gonna put me in the 94 bracket. And I don't know if I'm gonna have another gunslinger or not. I'll have to see. We'll see what other gear we get as well. Let's see what the engineer is here. So engineer, we got good energy charge once in a while after it deals 30,000 damage. My engineer is not usually doing a lot of damage. I mean, occasionally. It just depends because you know sometimes they're there for support just doing restore and resurrection so they might not deal that much damage but when they do they place an energy symbol on a random enemy engineer reducing its energy charge by 75 percent for five seconds hmm that's i mean it's nice and like i said this is nice but 
I don't know. Let's, let's see what kind of energy damage weapons we have here. I don't remember what we got from the event. Let's go here. Right now I have them set up for the shopping mall, so there's no damage on anybody. Oh, I forgot we have this one. I'm looking forward to this weapon. Where we get the stun, the, uh, the angel wand, hustle castle equivalent. Um, 3,700 damage per second. So it's not a lot. I mean, it, 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 again, it's more support where it's doing stuff, but it's not dealing lots of damage. So we're certainly equipping that one right away. And here's the damage dealing. So 68 plus 17 for energy charge. Um, so that's 23. Those will be a little bit higher at the next level. Um, so we'll get there with this one, but that's not going to be equipped right away. And they are now we're less than 100. So yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeesh. All right. So I'll, after reading all that, I don't know what I'm going to do. First thing first, we'll go and read that artifact again. I've gotten the question a couple times, like, you know, what are the top level artifacts we should be running? What are the best of the best? And I personally can't answer that question. Um, I just got to level 100, so I can't, and it's going to depend on what, what situation room you're in as well. Um, there's different items for different levels, but at the top level, I just got there, so I don't know what the best is. But in general, the event artifacts are better than just the regular artifacts. Um, so that is one thing to look at. And then the other thing is this activation. This activation is huge. So right here we have once in a while, which is usually the best because that means it's not dependent upon something happening, like somebody in your squad dying or somebody in the other squad dying or something like that. So this is just, it's going to happen occasionally. And that is usually the best trigger that you're looking for here. So this one, once in a while, it will deal 15,000 damage to all units, nice, and restore 15,000 to all allies. That is highly helpful. So health is way down, health is way up. Plus they're all dead, that's nice. So units with special symbols on them, which we saw will be inflicted, will have the following effects apply just the symbol. Enemy will take an additional 20,000 physical damage, nice. Assist symbol, 27,000 health restore and energy symbol. So that's good. If you're marking them from the other thing, we'll get extra work there, so that's good. Um, again, I'm not gonna get this though. It's, there's zero chance I'm getting this. Absolutely zero. So that's good, you know, especially since I don't have a lot of top level artifacts, that'll be a good one to use for sure. Hmm, so where am I gonna go? Before we decide that, let's go here. As you can see, I've finally collected through most of this. I went and blasted through the shopping mall. Uh, with my squad I'm cur currently running, I can get uh, 20 out of 20, 20% 20 of the time maybe. So not, not much. I think I've done it a couple times here. So this is gonna be one of the primary ways to get torches. This by far in Hustle Castle was the best. This and doing dungeons and dungeons don't exist here yet. So this will probably be your best, especially if you can get to the end. If you can't get to the end, then it might not be your best. Um, so I get, you know, I probably average like level 17, which is pretty good. You know, it's certainly not the best, but here 750, I think 1850, I think that's the best. So this was a level 20. I completed the entire shopping mall here and I got 750. So if you can do that four times, that's what 3,000 torches you're getting every day. So that's 30,000 torches just by completing the shopping mall every single day if you do four runs. And if you have premium, that is basically free. You're paying food for two and the two are for free and you're getting 30,000, which I think is enough to do one path just by doing the shopping mall. So that by far is going to be your best option as long as you can complete it. And that goes back to building your squad in a smart way and an efficient way and doing, um, there's a 500 again, where it allows you to beat people that are higher power than you are because you are compact and efficient. And that will be something I'll be covering in the future. I'm going to cover that in all three of the games because the same concept is important in all the games. You want to level yourself in a way that's efficient and smart and not just putting, you know, not going in here and putting these grays on or, you know, putting energy damage on somebody who's doing restore because they're not going to be doing much damage and it doesn't trigger very often. So it's a waste of waste of um, sticker and it's not going to be helping you. It's gonna make your level look higher. So it means you're gonna be facing higher competition and the benefit of putting these stickers on is not very good. So like I said, I'll cover those in more details later, but that is that is key to being successful in the shopping mall. You have to be compact and efficient. There we go, there's another 20 out of 20. So that's the second one of those. So again, this is, this is by far the best way to get up there. So I, I, I had these, I don't think that's where I got most of mine this time, but so open them all up and all the previous things I had stored from before, none of them gave any items that I'm aware of. So all of this, I believe was earned. And for me, that's pretty
pretty good. I mean, if I do that for 10 days, that's 86,000. That's going to get me a long ways, but I'm not going to grind as much as I did today. And I didn't even grind as much today because I was playing other games. So I'm actually very surprised to see that number that high. I'm not sure why it's that high. So if you watch your videos, oh, I know why, because I mean, we just opened them up, but I had all my gem bays and I had all my dailies saved from yesterday and I completed those today and I've already completed a good amount of my dailies today. So that is why. So I got double dailies going in the first day here and that is, that is also helpful. Um, so very, very good tip for future, future uh, events when they come out. All right. So there's no, no giveaway today. We got the other giveaway live. I think by the time this video gets published, the giveaway will be over. So we're not going to be, um, announcing a giveaway in this video but um we do have other other avenues where i'm posting um the giveaway details now so hopefully we'll be getting more people participating more people um joining in the comments and getting more feedback as far as you know how to best grind events and things like that so you can look for that on the QC Runner Discord in the comments below. We got American Dad Prime server going. We got another Hustle Castle Discord server going. And we you know, also got a lot of information on Facebook. So a lot of different places that are showing the QC Runner videos and announcing giveaways. And hopefully we will continue to grow the American Dad. Hopefully I didn't say Hustle Castle. I'm going to do it a lot. Go to this uh, American Dad community because it's... Uh, it's only going to go up from here. So these kind of events, even though it's not my favorite, it is a really good one. And a lot of people do like it. So, um, you know, there's different, different ways to enjoy things by different people. So like I said, I'm not going to be grinding like crazy. So especially over the weekend, I don't play too much. Um, so I will get a path or two done and I guess I don't need to make the decision now. When we come back again, I'll do a, a few different videos throughout here so we can check on the, check on the progress and then maybe get some feedback from you guys and letting me know, which, which item is the best here? You know, I'll, uh, I'll analyze it again, but right now I don't really know because I already have something for, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go with this one, which will give me, uh, cause my, my preference is to have gunslingers in the back just dealing massive damage. And we have our other, you know, maybe we'll get two, three level 100 to have one tank and two, two gunslingers just, you know, maximizing damage. And you know, this will be useful then. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. I think that's where I'm, I'm leaning towards at the moment, going up this middle path. And then we'll get part, partly up here again and you know, collect some of these resources, this, this chest here, which gives us food and everything. So I think that will do it. So we have 10 days to complete the path to Liberty. By the time this goes live, it'll be significantly less. Um, good luck to everybody. Have fun. This is, uh, events are always fun because it gives a good excuse for people to grind and um, learn as much about the game and ways to maximize efficiencies in lots of different ways. So um, let me know how it's going in the comments. Let me know in the QC Runner Discord or any of the other Discords. And good luck to everybody. Have a great weekend. And I will catch up with everybody soon. This has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games. And I will talk to you later. See you.